both Blender and 3D's Max stands out as top choices in the 3D software arena. Blender's open source flexibility and zero-cost licensing have given it a strong community of artists and developers, while 3D's Max is deeply entrenched in professional fields such as architecture, game development and film production. Let's take a detailed look at why artists seeking advanced capabilities may find 3D's Max more suited to their needs. Focusing on modeling tools, rendering engines, animation options, industry integration, and customizability. Blender's modeling tools are highly versatile and can cater to a wide range of 3D modeling needs. From animation and game design to general 3D art, its polygon-based modeling approach offers flexibility and its modifier system, complete with tools like Boolean and Array, is strong for general purpose work. However, when projects demand intense structural detail, especially in technical fields like architecture and engineering, these tools can become cumbersome. High polygon intricate designs can lead to performance bottlenecks as Blender lacks the built-in optimization features for large-scale complex projects that specialized softwares like 3ds Max provides. 3ds Max, in contrast, is built specifically for precision modeling. It's particularly effective for technical applications due to its non-destructive modifier stack and parametric modeling tools. These allows for extensive control over complex models, making it ideal for creating assets that require exact measurement on highly detailed structures. Each modifier in the stack can be applied adjusted or removed without permanently affecting the base geometry, providing a great degree of flexibility in revision-heavy projects. This non-destructive workflow is essential for large collaborative environments where changes are frequent and details critical. The recent update for 3ds Max further strengthens its efficiency with a 30% increase in mod threaded performance, a major boost for handling intensive tasks like procedural modeling, where complex instructions can strain system resources. This improvement makes 3ds Max particularly well suited for work that require rendering multiple high poly elements or parametric adjustment in real time. In addition, procedural modeling tools like Real Clone and Forest Park provide a substantial advantage for artists working with large scenes. Real Clone is especially useful for constructing architectural elements through parametric design, while Forest Park is widely used to populate vast environments with foliage, rocks, and even crowds. These plugins enable 3ds Max users to create vast intricate landscapes or urban spaces efficiently. Though Blender has add-ons that mimic these effects, they don't typically match the scalability or fine-tuned optimizations of 3ds Max plugin options. The specialized focus of these tools on performance and details makes 3ds Max a preferred choice for large projects and technically complex modeling works across various industries. Blender's animation toolkit is extensive, including tools like Grease Pencil, which allows artists to combine 2D and 3D animation, and Rigify, an auto-rigging tool that simplifies character rigging. Grease Pencil offers a flexible approach to creating 2D animations directly within 3D workspace, making it a favorite for stylized works, animatics, and 2D 3D hybrid animations. Rigify, meanwhile, enables rapid rig creation and supports complex character rigs, providing a valuable base for rigging characters with advanced skeletal structures and joint controls. However, while these tools are powerful, they can be challenging to scale for complex character animation in professional multi-layered workflows. 3ds Max, by contrast, is tailored for high-stakes, production-focused animation with tools specifically crafted for professional requirements. Character Animation Toolkit and the BIPE system in 3ds Max streamline the setup of both inverse kinematics and forward kinematics, making it easy to switch between the two. Character Animation Toolkit includes pre-built templates and flexible bone structures that significantly speeds up the process of creating, modifying, and animating characters. This is especially useful in game development, where designers need flexible but consistent character animation templates across many assets. Character animation toolkit layering options also allow for procedural animation, blending different animation types and behaviors in a non-destructive way, which is often preferred in workflows where animators need to layer subtle movements or apply real-time adjustments. 
One of the standout features of 3D's Max is its motion mixer. This tool provides an intuitive non-linear animation system, enabling animators to combine, blend, and fine-tune multiple animations within a single scene. While Blender has similar tools, the NLE Non-Linear Animation Editor Motion Mixer offers a smoother, more integrated experience for working with complex movements and sequences, especially for animators handling intricate character-driven narratives. This advantage is particularly prominent in cinematic sequences or video games, where seamless transitions between actions are crucial for believability and narrative flow. Motion Mixer is deeply integrated with 3D's Max's animation stack, allowing artists to access and adjust layers and transitions quickly, which simplifies creating smooth animations with varied movement types and blending. Blender and 3D's Max each offer robust rendering engines tailored to different use cases. Blender Cycles and EV engines provide versatile options for artists seeking balance between quality and speed. Cycles is a ray tracing engine, delivering high fidelity physically accurate renders with path tracing technology, ideal for producing realistic lighting, reflection, and shadows. It supports both GPU and CPU rendering, as well as features like adaptive sampling and denoising, which improves render times and reduces noise, making it suitable for indie games, animated films, and projects that demand a high degree of realism. EV, Blender's real-time engine, offers immediate feedback and fast previews with impressive results for stylized or less intensive realism, benefiting animators and designers working with high tight deadlines. On the other hand, 3D's Max provide native access to the Arnold renderer, which is recognized for its exceptional photorealistic quality and is optimized for high-end ray tracing, making it a go-to choice for industries such as architecture, VFX, and product visualization. Arnold Adaptive Sampling and Accelerated GPU Support enhances render speed without compromising on quality, particularly when handling complex scenes with high-poly models or detailed environmental elements. These optimizations make Arnold especially advantageous for large-scale projects where precision and realism are critical, such as in architectural and cinematic works. Beyond the native Arnold renderer, 3D's Max is also compatible with other industry standard render engines like V-Ray and Corona. V-Ray is renowned for its customizable controls over light simulations, shadow realism, and highly detailed reflections, making it ideal for architectural visualization and product design. Corona offers high-quality physically-based rendering with a more user-friendly approach, delivering professional results without the steep learning curve associated with V-Ray. Together, these engines provide a level of flexibility and fine-tuned control that is generally beyond Blender standard offerings. While Blender can support third-party engines with workarounds, the lack of seamless integration with high-end renders can be a limitation for artists working on projects with strict photorealistic requirements. Furthermore, Arnold's open shading language and extensive shading options allows for precise material creation, offering artists refined control over textures and lighting models. Cycles, while impressive, has a more limited shading and material system in comparison. Arnold's open shading language support enables custom shader creation, allowing artists to achieve specific surface qualities that will be challenging to replicate in Cycles. This feature gives 3D's Max a significant edge in rendering workflows where nuisance material details such as subsurface scattering or complex translucency are needed for photorealism, industry integration and cross compatibility. While Blender is gaining traction in small studios and freelance work, 3D's Max has established itself as an industry standard due to its seamless compatibility with Autodesk ecosystem, which includes AutoCAD, Revit, and Maya. This is particularly valuable in collaborative environments where assets need to move across various software. The FBX and USD export options in 3D's Max are highly optimized facilitating smoother cross-platform compatibility compared to Blender, which, despite improvements, can still encounter file import-export issues. 
Through these mics also integrate directly with CAD software, allowing technical models to be imported with high fidelity, a significant advantage in architectural and engineering workflow. Blender users working on similar projects often require extra plugins or conversions that can introduce errors or slowdowns. The consistency and interoperability of 3D's Max within Autodesk Suite enable streamlined production pipelines, crucial for large studios and collaborative projects. When it comes to customization and automation, both Blender and 3D's Max offer extensive scripting capabilities that empower artists and developers to tailor the software to specific needs. Blender's Python API allows users to develop custom tools, automate repetitive workflows, and even create complex add-ons that enhance functionality. This makes Blender's environment highly adaptable, with a supportive community that often shares custom scripts and plugins for a range of creative needs. The Python API has fostered a collaborative open source ecosystem and the community-driven development model has led to Blender's rich collections of add-ons and custom tools. 3D's Max, however, is known for its Max script and Python support, which brings even deeper automation options suited for professionals and industrial pipelines. Max script is designed specifically for 3D's Max, providing a direct access to almost every function within the software. This makes it possible to customize nearly every aspect of the software, from scene setup and rendering to data import, export, and complex rigging process. With Max script and Python, 3D's Max allows developers to create custom plugins that integrate seamlessly into industry pipelines, which is highly valued in game development and VFX studios. Moreover, these capabilities make it easy to automate complex repetitive tasks, reducing the manual workloads for artists and speeding up production timelines. Another notable difference lies in the plugin ecosystem support by each software. Blender's open source nature has led to a diverse range of add-ons developed by community members. While this means that users have access to a wide selection of tools, these add-ons are often developed by individuals or small teams and may lack the optimization necessary for heavy-duty production environments. Blender add-ons for animation nodes and molecular for particular dynamics are impressive, but they generally don't have the robust support and performance standards that are needed in high-end pipelines. On the other hand, 3D's Max has a highly developed plugin ecosystem supported by dedicated third-party vendors who focus on professional production needs. For instance, Forest Pack by i2 Software is one of the most advanced scattering plugins available, optimized for creating large-scale vegetation and environment assets essential in architectural visualization and film production. Phoenix FD provides state-of-the-art fluid dynamics and simulation, making it popular in VFX studios for realistic water and fire effect. While Rayfire is renowned for its distraction simulation, allowing artists to create realistic debris, fractures, and explosions with ease, these plugins are highly optimized and updated regularly, providing artists with reliable tools that are fully supported and tailored for industrial use. When it comes to creating realistic simulations and dynamic effect, 3D's Max stands out with its advanced tool designed specifically for VFX heavy and large-scale animations. Blender has made significant advancements, especially with its Manta Flow system, which powers its smoke, fluid, and fire simulation. Manta Flow is capable of producing visually stunning effect and, for a free software package, performs impressively well in creating high-quality particle systems. However, Manta Flow's limitations, particularly in speed and flexibility when compared to plugins available for 3D's Max, mean that it may not yet match the industry standard polish required in large, intensive VFX projects. 3D's Max, on the other hand, includes powerful simulation tools like Mass FX, Rayfire, and Phoenix FD, like I spoke of before, that are widely used in professional industries such as film and gaming. 
Mass FX, 3D Max's native fixes engine, supports rigid body, soft body, and cloth simulation, making it a versatile option for artists who need complex interactions between multiple objects. Mass FX enables precise control over objects' physical properties, allowing for seamless simulation of gravity, collisions, and more, which are critical for achieving realism in animations and effects. And this can be challenging to achieve with Blender's particle system alone. Moreover, the extensive ecosystem of plugins in 3D Max means artists have access to industry-proven tools that integrate seamlessly into VFX workflows. Tools like Thinking Particles add even more capability for particle simulation, allowing artists to craft highly specific particle interactions and behaviors for tasks like crowd simulation or large-scale environmental effects. Blender's particle system is capable but does not yet reach the same level of specialization as 3D's Max plugin options, particularly in nuanced control needed for high-end production work. For artists looking to advance within highly specialized industries, 3D's Max Precision Modeling, Professional Animation and Rendering Capabilities, and Integration with Autodesk's broader ecosystem make it a strong contender. While Blender's cost-effective open-source nature and flexibility make it a fantastic choice for independent creators, 3D's Max provides a stability in depth of tools that align with industry standards. This combination of advanced capabilities make it a preferred choice for artists aspiring to move into large-scale architectural, film, and game projects that demand high performance and seamless interoperability. Okay, if you love this video, kindly don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until my next video, peace.